Oh, I gotta choose them first? Is that... Uh, okay. There we go. Look at the monkeys picking up everything. Yeah, monkey. Welcome back, friends, to Nindy Nexus, your channel for all things Nintendo Indie. My name's Mikey. And today, we're getting into a special first look at The Survivalists. We're going to be playing the demo. It just released today, September 10th, 2020. You're going to see this video a little bit after that, just because, you know, editing and all that. Little details about the game here. It is on the North American eShop for $24.99. Rated E for everyone. It is going to release October 9th, 2020, about a month from now. Up to four players. It is an adventure strategy multiplayer game published by Team 17. And the game file size is 905 MB. Supported languages include Japanese, English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Korean, Russian, Chinese, and Portuguese. Let's get into this. So this announcement, I think, for the survivalist came during one of the indie presentations, if I'm not mistaken. And it's one of the ones that's uh, well, and since the announcement today that it's getting really hyped up, so I was excited to see that they had a demo available, wanted to see what the game was all about, and, uh, you know, maybe even consider pre-ordering it if I enjoy it enough. There's no guarantee that, you know, we're going to get any review code or anything like that, so I figured, you know, if it's good enough, I mean, it looks good, but if the gameplay is fun enough, then... You know, maybe I'll just go ahead and purchase it, because why not? Got to support indie developers whenever you can. Team 17 is one of the better-known ones, famous for the Worms series, and that's pretty loud. Let me go ahead and turn that down real quick. There we go. All right, so we see someone there floating on a broken raft. Eleanor to start. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm using my SN30 Pro, the 8-bit do gamepad. Planting trees, huh? Those sure sprouted up quick. So I don't know what this game is about, what you do. Uh, I'm jumping in blind here. I almost didn't want to ruin it for myself and just wait till they come out. Usually that's what I do. I don't, I'm not big on demos, but uh, I figured everyone else will probably want to see it. So stop thinking about myself and give the people what they want. So here we go. We got some save slots. We got... Settings and options down here, controls, and more information. Per usual, let's crank up that sound and the options here, and that's that's all I got. So I'm gonna apply that, head back. We got controls, so you can see the layout there, and more information. So there's online co-op, okay. So this is probably specific to the demo itself, just to give you some more information. But I see some monkey chefs down there, and some monkey dancers, I'm all about it. All right, you can train a band of monkeys, huh? Let's get into this, see what we're doing here. Do you wanna see prompts which explain how to play the game? Yep. Where am I? Wait, who am I? In the profile tab, you can customize your appearance by selecting hairstyles and facial accessories. Change your character colors by pressing A. And you have to hold A for it to go okay. So let's choose something here very quickly. I think, <laughs> look at that throwback. Some Street Fighter styles I see in there, huh? Let's, uh, I like that messy one that I saw. Um, either that one or, or that one. Eh, actually, you know what? Uh, let's go neat, that's fine. <laughs> Mustache, let's give him a beard. And we can set the color of the shirt. You can really fine tune it. It's a little hard to fine tune it because these colors go by so quickly. All right, we're gonna go with tan then. And let's go with uh, oh, some, some green pants. And I like that one enough. Okay. Anything else that I can change? I think I can change his hair color. Oh yeah. Yep, definitely can. All right, let's go with or something random. Boop. All right, green hair it is. 
And beard, random, random, random. Blue beard. Maybe I was a captain in my past life. All right. And L and R. Oh, there we go. Profile. So we press LNR, there's a slight lag to it. I think it just has to load everything. But there we go, it's a little better. Okay. And my name is Clive, apparently. Okay, let's uh let's do it. I think that's it. Close. Oh, I like that zoom out as soon as you start moving. A to open. A broken raft, a large leaf, crafting various various items, smooth pebbles used for crafting various items, rope berries. You need to eat in order to avoid starvation. To consume food, select it using L and R. Press Y to eat it. Okay. I think um, am I just oh, okay? Transfer all, transfer all, all. Simple items can be crafted in your hand by pressing down. Okay, let's try and craft something, I guess. I press down right there. Selecting recipe, select recipe, press A to start crafting it. The more items you craft, the more recipes you will unlock. Gotta get used to holding that A button. Uh, so I can craft a hand axe. That's what I can do there. So let's, let's go ahead and craft that. The cutting edge, success. Select the hand axe with L or R. Once equipped, you can chop, you can chop with a hand axe by pressing Y. And you have the items at the bottom, so I have the axe equipped, and, uh, oops, now I have the axe equipped, and chopping this tree down. Get all kinds of stuff, coconut, timber, palm leaf, coconut. So the coconut's gonna come in handy if I have to eat fairly often. Um, so I'm just gonna chop down some of these trees here, get that stuff so I can be better prepared whenever I need to eat, because I don't know how quickly that's going to be. Um, I don't see any like indication of a, a health meter. I see energy on the right. I'm guessing maybe my heart on the left is going to be having to do with, uh, you know, if I get hurt or if I need to eat. That's my guess. So... When I play games like this, specifically crafting games, I tend to be uh, very big on stocking up on items. The more I can stock up, the better. I like being prepared. Um, you know, I, it's just, I'd rather be overstocked and have to <laughs> manage my inventory, which usually becomes an issue in most games, uh, than have to, you know, make it to a certain part, get stuck realizing that I don't have an item that I need or I, I can't heal in order to allow me to progress something like that so let's go ahead and knock down this last one perfect and I got all that stuff is there a way to run or something oh wait what is that oh that's for my monkeys ZL I wonder if the axe will work on rocks Oh wait, oh, the axe broke. Okay, let's craft another one. I wonder if I can craft more than one. There we go. Okay, so rope. Uh, flimsy multi-tool. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna craft it. New recipes. Oh, there we go. A wooden club. I will take that, I will make that, and I will take that. Uh, I need hay, I think, for a bed or a straw bundle, and I need um, grass for that. Is that what that is? Let's see if this will give me some grass. Mm, nope. A bush gave me gave me timber. That wouldn't be my first uh, thought. The basics: you can run. Oh, that's what I want. Run by holding X. Tap X to roll across gaps and hazards. Drop an item from your inventory by highlighting it in the bar and then pressing B. Okay. That's fine. Hopefully you get it's more timber. Okay. Pick up petals. And that's running right there. So that's the run speed compared to walk speed right there. 
me just make sure I didn't miss anything. I know. Oh, I can bust the rocks. Okay. Perfect. Did I dig right there? What was I doing? Oh, okay. That was just my axe. All right, let's go. Uh, actually, you know what? I better try this before I leave. Yeah. I think I can get some items from here. <laughs> I just need a moment. Let me rest. Okay, take a little rest. There we go. That's what I needed, some of those. So I'm gonna... Oh man, I need to drop something. Okay, I'll drop this hand axe just because it's about to bust anyway, or, or maybe I'll just use it till it busts real quick here. And it should bust right now. Yep. All right, now I can go grab these leaves. Long grass, timber. And I'm, I'm not too worried about finishing that. All right, let's craft that. Oh, I need one more. Okay, I need to find another tree then. I think this one might do nicely. Let's, uh, oh, that's a roll right there. Okay. Oh, there goes my health. I think I need, yeah, I definitely need to have this bed ready, some food ready, just so I am 100% prepared. So there's some grass, that's perfect. That's what I was hoping I would find there. And now I should be able to craft the straw bundle. Oh, wait, okay, hold on. Let me just, let me try eating one of these berries real quick. Yeah, okay, that does give me back some health. All right, uh, I gotta figure out what to drop now, or or I can craft something else. Craft some rope, two to make a rope. All right, pick up that straw bundle, and there we go, perfect. Look at all that, all that stuff I unlocked there. Uh, comfy padding used to build a bed. Okay, that's what I want. A makeshift bowl. But first, you'll need to build it. Save the game. That's how you save the game. Oh, what the heck? I don't want to make the bowl. All right. There we go. That's what I wanted. That should be a bed, right? Yep. Makeshift bed sheet. Perfect. I don't have any room. See, there. I'm already with the item management here. All right. I don't even know what to do now. Let's danger close. Select a weapon and attack your enemies with a Y. Got some some savages on the island here. Oh, I'm gonna take my club. Oh, batter up. I want to get that. Uh, oh, nice. The wind up, though. All right. Meat scrap, bat wing. Um, I guess I need to keep crafting because that's the only way I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. All right. I'll make a, a handle. Let's make... Uh, what else don't I have yet? Let's go ahead and build one of... The, oh, I can't, can't build that. Can't build that. Uh, a bowl. I have a ton of leaves, though. I'm not gonna get rid of that. Okay, um, let's make stone chunk. I don't know what that's for. I can't pick up any of this stuff. Let me drop this. I think it's, a, oh, B was to drop it, right? There we go. And let me go grab that bed. And eh, why not? Can I lay it out here? Oh wait, this is wet. <laughs> I probably don't want to sleep there. Now, I wonder if it'll let me. Let's try it. Why not? Um, comfy padding. Makeshift bed sheet. No, I don't think it's gonna let me. Bedding, bedding. Hmm. I don't know how to do it. I need some berries. Let's see. Maybe I think if I keep going, it's probably just gonna tell me what I need. Hopefully those items stay there. 
he ooh help oh man I thought I had the what the there we go I'll leave those meat scraps it's like a maze in here how am I gonna get over there There we go. Fight some bats real quick. Hold on. And so that aiming is kind of strange. I'm like, I feel like I'm just swinging, swinging. All right, is there, I swear someone was just talking over here and now I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Let me, let me cut these trees down. I can't see anything over here. Oh, I'm swinging and missing. Okay. I need more energy. I'm trying to let you rest. But I'm also trying to save somebody here, I think. Oh, they're in a cage. Um, do I... Mm, hand X is going by. And then... I wonder, can I just beat on this cage or use the multi-tool to unlock this thing or what? Oh, is, a, is it a monkey in there? Your monkey friends can do anything you can do. Assign them roles in monkey management mode by holding Z. I just teach them what to do. Hold all my stuff, monkey. Monkey mimic. Mon monkeys learn by mimicking your actions. Teach a monkey by hitting a tree. This will teach them chopping. Pick up an item and place it somewhere else to teach them. Mm, place it somewhere else to teach them to gather items. Okay. That's what I want. I want them to learn how to gather items for me. Uh, okay. Let's try this. Let me pick up the bat wing. Set the bat wing down. Oh, do I gotta do it while I'm holding? Uh, mimic player action X. Pick up. Drop. Did that do it? <laughs> he looks ready to go. Did that do it? Come on, monkey. Um, throw item to monkey. Mimic player action. Oh, I gotta choose him first, is it? Uh, okay. There we go. Look at the monkeys picking up everything. Yeah, monkey. How much can he pick up? Can he pick up everything? Let's go back to the beach. I need to eat some berries. Over here, monkey. Yeah. Let me eat some berries, get back to full health. Pick up some of that meat there. It's still good, right? Five minute rule, is that what it is? Bat wing, stone chunk, petals. What do I need? The makeshift bowl? I don't know what the bowl's for, but I feel like it's got some use or else I wouldn't be able to craft it, right? Okay, ah, these bushes. All right. Should I go towards the sun, the map? Map of the world can be found on the map tab inside your journal. On the map tab, you can place markers, which will appear in the mini map in the top right. Perfect. Let's try it out. The map. Mm, where's the map? Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotta press L and R. You can change the color of your monkey. Seems a little bit. A little bit inhumane. How am I changing this color? His name is Smudge. Smudge the monkey. Smudge the red monkey. 
All right, put a pin in that. You can add map markers to remind yourself where you found something cool or useful. To add a marker to the map, press A, select an icon. Easy enough. Um, I'm gonna place something items on the beach. Food items. Treasure on the beach. All right. Good enough for me. Come, monkey. We travel on. And, uh-oh. I don't have... <laughs> I don't have a weapon. Let me craft one real quick. Good thing I have. See, that's why you stock up on the items. I'm telling you. I'm drop this bowl real quick. Pick up that club. Oh, we're going to town, friend. Vault hunting. Vaults and labyrinths are places of danger, puzzles, and treasure. If you manage to reach the end of the labyrinth, you may receive an item that will help you escape the islands. Who you calling weakling? Oh, whoops. They'll find me. Gotcha. Oh, spoils will be enjoyed. Oh, that's how you get grass. You just literally swing at the grass. Uh, I swear I think too much sometimes. There's a tasty human. Cannibals. All right. Beautiful. Wait, is this the labyrinth? Whoa, the torturous, wrathful labyrinth. Nice. Wait, choose a recipe? Oh, it's a crafting bench. Monkeys can mimic your actions while, or to utilize crafting benches for crafting recipes. Place a monkey into mimic mode, then deliver a recipe item to the crafting bench. Have them deliver ingredients for you. Use a multi-tool on a completed recipe to get a mimicking monkey crafting for you. Man, so those monkeys really can do everything. Make a little smoothie. Why not? Oh, I don't have... I don't have grapes. I ate them all. Alright, what about a, a meat kebab? Let's do that. Add some meat to that. Equip the multi-tool and craft. Nice. Meat kebab coming up soon. New recipe unlocked. Let me eat that. I can't eat it. Um, all right, let me drop it so I can pick up that meat kebab, which you can hardly see. All right, let's go. Oof. Nice. Oh, whoa. Run, 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 run. Smash human. Okay. How am I doing on health? I'm doing okay. Too easy, huh? Let's see you do something about that. Oh no. Oh no. Low health. I'm about to get I'm about to get bodied in the temple. Alright. Oh, it eats it instantly. Even better. Oh, whoa. Alright. I need to watch out because these guys are gonna. Oh man, they're destroying me right now. I need to. Oh, right there, right there. Oh! Okay, where's the food? Where's the food? I know this thing is. This labyrinth is supposed to be harder. Why can't I eat? Hold on now. Why isn't it letting me eat? Oh, is it because it's raw? Can I not eat the raw meat? No, oh, that's not good. And then I'm dead. <laughs> and here goes my health right here. All right, I need to get this guy. Oh, and there it is. They wasted me. And they threw me back on the beach. And all my items are gone. Man, I wonder if you can pick them up again over there. I hope so. Is my monkey around still? 
Do I have a monkey still? What is that? Adventure time? <laughs> First treasure map. I think I need to get my bearings before I go searching for treasure. But that's going to do it for our first look at the survivalists. Like I said, it is $24.99 on the North American eShop. Rated E for everyone. Is available October 9th, 2020. Published and developed by Team 17. If you like this first look at the survivalists, go ahead and download that demo. Hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. And don't forget to stay tuned to the Nindy Nexus for more great Nindy content or visit us at our website at nindynexus.net. We have all kinds of news, reviews, and all things Nintendo Indie. That's it for me tonight. You guys have a great evening, and I will talk to you next time. Later. <laughs>